Hi and welcome back to another response, refutation and comment video, where here I react to the Muslim apologist Imran Hussein. He is one of the weakest Islam apologists I am aware of. I'm responding just to show Muslims who think he is making profound statements that this is not the case and that he makes quite silly and inane claims and is thus amazingly easy to refute. It's actually quite weird and disturbing to see this cognitive dissonance and the alarming effect of brainwashing. Now, Imran is too much of a coward to come and talk to a person like me personally, because I don't believe in gods and can use my brain to use critical and rational thinking and reasoning. And he can't handle that. He prefers his existence in a bubble, tucked away and unaffected by reality and facts. In this video, this is how atheism destroys truth, he once again fails to provide any kind of compelling or convincing arguments and only brings up emotions and feelings, whining and complaining, nothing more. He does not have the mental and intellectual capability to understand what an atheist is, someone who simply does not believe and thus rejects the propositions and claims made by theists. And that is all there is to it. He starts the video off by misrepresenting those people he is so scared of, non-believers, those who don't believe don't believe gods or goddesses exist because there is no good reason to believe it. The atheist believes that it's his pursuit and love of truth that has led him away from God. Our Muslim apologist says an atheist believes, where an atheist does no such thing. He claims that an atheist believes it is the pursuit of love and truth that has led them away from God, where at no point has the existence of any God been established? Never, not once. So how can you turn away from something that does not exist? And then next. That atheism itself completely destroys and dismantles the whole concept of truth. He claims that not believing something without a reason destroys and dismantles the concept of truth. Now, Truth is what compares or comports with reality. That's what can be demonstrated. How can not believing something without a reason destroy the concept of truth? Isn't it the opposite that does that? Believing without a reason, without evidence, only on faith? And then next again. Why is truth important? We get the most dishonest and disgusting part of this video, in my opinion, the question why truth is important. The question is, I don't understand why he's asking this question. Now, this guy is too weak and too much of a coward to talk to an atheist. If he did muster up the courage to speak to me directly, I would ask him exactly that. Is truth important for you? And he would have to lie and pretend that it is, while lying, knowing what he says is wrong and intentionally trying to deceive me. Because he has no good reason to believe his God exists, at least not the way described in Islamic texts. But he will never admit this. So I find this question quite ironic. Truth is important because it provides a reliable foundation for everyone. One he does not provide. He, he has convinced himself that he is truthful and all the others are to blame because they are not. He will never dare to question his beliefs and his irrational reasons for holding those beliefs. There is no objective reality to them. Oh dear. Of course there is something like objective reality. Objective merely says that something is irrespective of human opinions. So objectively, a tube can be seen subjectively as circular or a square, depending on the viewpoint. Is this important? Of course, yes. If I want to transport this tube, I need the precise dimensions, not just the one view 
or the other. The downside was demonstrated in the Ricky Gervais movie, The Intention of Lying, where white lies actually protect people, and it is now up to the individual to establish what constitutes a white lie and what is deceptive. And this led to some quite hilarious and also some detrimental consequences for those who don't value truth. See, atheism leaves us in a very strange place. This Imran guy is very highly, incredibly weird. And then he says about me what I think about him. But I prefer brutal honesty to lies. And he lies all the time to himself, most of all, but also to others. So any statement he makes is somehow strange. So strange, in fact, that I don't know when he says something whether he is now lying as a Muslim or maybe even honest as a person. That's a strange place to be. What makes it even more weird is that I have tried numerous times to explain to him what an atheist is, that it is only about belief, which he... I don't know why, he doesn't understand, even though he named his channel Epistemics. Now that's weird. As someone who sees no good reason to believe gods or goddesses exist, my one and only foundation is honesty and integrity, i.e. truth. The first step you need to take is to abandon atheism. Again, this is weird. I should abandon truth and rational thinking and take on imaginary supernatural entities that are immoral, narcissistic, violent and despotic. Why would I do that? Why would I substitute truth for a lie? Now, Islam, due to its absolutist claims, its brutal and tyrannical structures and visions of Muslim supremacy, is most probably the worst of all ideologies around today. So because I value truth, I will not go with Islam and avoid it. I will stay away from Islam and not live a lie. So, see you next time in another video and cheers for now. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. Brilliant. But I would love for you to tell me why.